Saving money builds a foundation to establish future wealth while you enjoy shorter term lifestyle goals. Life is about experiences. By saving money, you'll be able to partake in more of what you like to do now and invest in those things you dream of having in the future. Setting goals makes the choice to save, rather than spend, much easier. Try saving money according to what you want to do with the funds. Divide and allocate your savings into three specific categories, emergency fund, short-term savings, and long-term savings. Your emergency fund is your first priority. Emergency funds should equal at least six months of your living expenses. So if your bills are $2,000 per month, you should have $12,000 saved up for your emergency purposes. Those of you who work in an industry that is downsizing or have highly competitive jobs should set aside more money in your emergency fund in case of long-term unemployment. Also, be prepared for another major market collapse. Find out how your industry performed during the Great Recession that started in 2008 and be prepared to meet a similar unemployment situation. Unexpected problems arise in your life. Your emergency savings will reduce your worry. For example, say your car breaks down and needs expensive repairs. If you have no money saved, how will you get to work? Take the bus? Walk? Get rides from friends? If you have emergency savings, you will get back in the driver's seat with little or no stress or panic. Your short-term savings is important because it gets you into the habit of saving for financial goals to enjoy in the near future. Short-term savings holds the money you set aside for those fun things you like to do. Plan ahead and determine how much you must save each month to pay for your short-term goals. For instance, maybe you want to get good seats for a concert. Tickets will go on sale in six months, but they cost $600. Start saving an extra $100 a month and you will have enough money available to buy the tickets when they go on sale. The long-term savings account is where you hold money for future investments. This account is the backbone of your financial future. Get into the habit of paying yourself first and depositing money into this account every month. In other words, before you buy new shoes, take a trip, or go out for a nice dinner, first make sure you have set aside money in your long-term savings Set a goal to save at least 10% of your income for the long-term savings. This goal may sound challenging, but it gets easier over time. The more you put into this fund, the sooner you will reach financial independence. For those of you who have a debt load, compare the interest rates on your debt to the interest rates on your savings or your investment rate of return. If you're paying more interest on debt, first work towards paying down your debt before you contribute to your short-term and long-term savings. For instance, if you have a credit card at 24% interest, but your savings account is only earning 2%, it would be better to pay off your credit card first. But before paying down your debt, make sure you have some emergency money set aside. If saving money is a challenge for you, there are two main ways to save more. First, you can earn more money. Second, you can cut down on your expenses. Easier said than done, right? But that's really as straightforward as the answer gets. Cutting down is something you can do immediately. Increasing income may take a bit more time and resources, but the combination of the two strategies really helps create a powerhouse opportunity to achieve financial security. Saving is the key to calling your own shots in life. By setting up and following your budget, you'll see your savings grow over time. Savings will help you attain financial security and reach your personal lifestyle goals. Great job on making it this far in the course. Get started on the savings activities and keep up your efforts.